So, you want to know how to create a force field to keep the aliens out? Well, I get you there. I tried using salt, but it just doesn't seem to work. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again. And we're trying to make a force field material in Blender 2.91. So, we're going to first off, I'm going to get rid of default cube, because we don't need default cube today. I'm sorry. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Wait, there we go. Delete on default cube, hit the delete, delete button. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A, and we're going to search for a UV sphere. And we're going to go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here, and add a modifier of, you guessed it, subdivision surface to smooth it out just a little bit. And we're also going to go up to object and make sure this is set to shade smooth. Now, I'm obviously on material mode up here on the top right, on material mode, so we can see what's going on here. Um, and... I, uh, I have this uh, nice little tab open over here, so I'm just going to drag my cursor up to the top left and split my window into two. And we're going to go ahead and change this to the shader editor, obviously. We're going to get rid of that, drag that away. Um, now, with, uh, our, with our sphere, with our force field selected, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things. We're going we're gonna to delete the principal BSDF shader, because we do not need that. Um, and what I'm going to do... Most actually, I'm we're gonna create new material first of all. So I'll hit new on that, and then we're gonna call this one uh, force field. That's not how you spell field, but I'll leave it because it's funny. All right, hit delete on principal BSDF, so it should it should turn solid black like that. Hit shift A, and we're gonna search for an emission shader right there. Plop that boy right there, and then plug in the emission to the surface. Now it should be like solid white, which looks fine, but not what we're going for. Um, then it's shift A, and we're going to search for a wave texture right there. Boom, put that right there. Plug the color into the color of the emission. Now it should look like this, which is also not what we're going for, but it's closer. So now after that, we can go ahead and hit shift A once again. Search for a color ramp node right there. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to plug that in between the wave texture and the color of the emission. Now we can actually change the color of the emission uh, force field, so we can change the colors to something better, like, uh, like this, so, two, two bluish values, right, darker blue and lighter blue, uh, which looks very cool, but these are kind of, like, straight, and it doesn't look that good, so we're gonna go ahead and change the scale a little bit, we're gonna add a little bit of distortion, just a little bit, a little bit of detail, a little bit of detail scale, not too much, you know, I'm gonna go crazy like that, that doesn't look good, well, I mean, that, I guess it does, but it's not what I'm going for. Um, all right, we do something like that, probably about like maybe 2.1. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, detail roughness, you can you can put that up a little bit as well, just to get a little bit of that nice um, that nice definition uh, on those bands. Now, the way we're going to animate this is very cool because the phase offset. If I were to go ahead and uh, and start scrolling this, you can see that it actually moves. And the cool thing about this is, is that it's not actually scaling it. Because most of the time when you use sliders like this, it's scaling it like this does. So then it would just get smaller and smaller and smaller all the time, which obviously is very annoying to animate and you can't animate it properly. So the cool thing about this phase offset is that it doesn't scale anything. It's literally just moving it. So that's very cool. We don't even need to set up a mapping node for that in specific. But if you do want to rotate this so it's not going, you know, either this way or this way, then you can go ahead and hit shift A and we can search for a mapping, search for a mapping node. And then we'll put that right there. Plug the vector into the vector of the wave texture and then hit shift A once again and search for a texture coordinate node, which is that, that, that bad boy right there. And we're going to plug the normal into the normal of vector from the mapping. Now, you can see, if I were to go ahead and rotate this, you can see that it is actually rotating. We can rotate this any way we want to. Make it straight up and down like that. Well, this looks really good. There we go. There we go. All right. So, we have a nice little force field. We can go ahead and animate this now by going ahead. And I'm going to change the scale. It's too skinny. There we go. That's better. All right, cool. Last thing I'm going to do, a couple things. I'm going to bump the strength of the emission up, and we're going to go to the main scene tab here and turn bloom on, so we have that nice bloom, which looks really good. Um, now, we can animate this very easily by going ahead. I'm going to actually go and make my frame rate 60, um, and we're going to start on frame 0 down here. I'm going to go to phase offset, put that on 0 as well. Hover our cursor over top of phase offset, hit I on your keyboard, hit the I key, and then go to like frame 100 or so, and then we'll, actually, we'll just go all the way to the end. Go to like frame 250 and then I'll change the phase offset to like 100 and then hit I uh, with my cursor over top of that now so cool 
I'm gonna go ahead and play this and as you can see it does move which looks really really cool so this can be used for so many different things this looks like a um if you turn it sideways it actually looks like a um some kind of force attack you know like some kind of ball of energy you know if you just speed it up a little bit so if i if i make this phase offset 200 instead of 100 and then we play it again it looks like there's like a ball that's being shot you know in this direction which just looks really really cool um, so like I said, yeah, this you can use this for multiple different things, force fields, balls of energy, um, but um, but yeah, that's like some kind of maybe meteor, I don't even know, but it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I love versatile materials like this, but, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye bye.